I'm back again guys with another crispy mass tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the modulus function. The modulus function is a function of the following form. You've got two lines and you've got f of x inside. We call this the modulus of f of x. Let's have a look at some examples. So here's my first example. I would like to calculate the value of the modulus of minus 2. The modulus of a number is just the positive value of that number. So in this case it will be 2. Here's another example. I want to work out the modulus of 5 over 2. The modulus of a number is just the positive value of the number. So in this case, the modulus of 5 over 2 is just 5 over 2. So example 1 and 2 were straightforward. Let's have a look at example 3, which is a bit different. In example 3, I would like to sketch y equal to the modulus of x. Looks juicy. Well, first of all, let me draw my coordinate grid. I'm going to first of all sketch y equal x. y equal x is just a straight line with positive gradient, and the gradient is 1. And it also passes through the origin. So here's the origin. I can sketch in y equal x. There you go, that is y equal x. What I'm interested in sketching y equal to the modulus of x. Well, to do this, we have to look at two parts of the graph. The part that's above the x-axis stays the same. Okay, so I can keep that the same. I'll go over it in black. The part that's below the x-axis gets reflected in the x-axis. So if I reflect this particular line in the x-axis, I get the following. So I can now rub off this part. There you go, it's gone. Here is my beautiful graph, y equal to the modulus of x. And that completes the question. Let's go through example number 5 now. So here's example number 5. I want to sketch this beautiful graph, which is y equal to the modulus of 2x plus 1. First of all, you need to draw your coordinate grid here. Yeah? So you first draw your coordinate grid, which I'm going to do now. Then I need to sketch y equal 2x plus 1. When y equal 2x plus 1 is just a straight line with positive gradient, the gradient is 2, the y-intercept is 1, and the x-intercept is minus 1 over 2. So let's label the intercepts. So the y-intercept is 1, the x-intercept is minus 1 over 2, and now let's draw the line y equal 2x plus 1. Okay? Not bad at all. Decent sketch. Right. Now, I want to sketch y equal to the modulus of 2x plus 1, that beautiful graph. That's what I'm interested in. So, first of all, the part of the graph which is above the x-axis stays the same. I can go over it in black. The part that's below the x-axis gets reflected in the x-axis. So, let's reflect the part below the x-axis in the x-axis. Okay? I get something like this. Now I can rub out this part over here. To make this look even more beautiful, I could actually label the graph y equal modulus of 2x plus 1. And that then completes the question. Right. <clears throat> Let's look at the final example of this video tutorial. 
And that example is example number six. Suppose you are given a function g of x equal to the modulus of 3x plus 2. And you are told to calculate g of 0. Right. What we need to do is substitute x equals 0 into the function. So 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. So g of 0 is the modulus of 2, which we know is just 2. Now, I want to work out the value of g of minus 2. Again, substitute x equals minus 2 into the function. 3 times minus 2 is minus 6, plus 2 is minus 4. So the modulus of minus 4. Now, the modulus of minus 4 is 4. That there, guys, is the end of this video tutorial. If you found it crispy, well, in other words, if you found it useful, make sure you don't forget to subscribe.